Sitting out the back was Ash. There is the man you spoke about, Richo Whitfield. Going to be run down. Magnificent oh, Martin. That is brilliant. What a Sit start. Right out, please, Jack, your kick. Right out, guys. Don't walk through the mark. Actually right didn't out. know he was there, did no, he? No, he didn't. He had no awareness there. Lockie Whitfield. Don't you love that from your small forwards, especially early in a game, make a defensive statement. It sets the tone now. Came from the blind spot. Jack Martin. For the perfect start for Carlton. Lots of talent involved in this package. That's brilliant. As we say here, it was a, uh, a great forward, bit of forward pressure here, and Martin with that chase and pressure and, and tackle and a, and a perfect finish from him. That's what Carlton didn't have last week against Collingwood. They got the ball inside 50, but they couldn't keep it in there and they couldn't have that pressure. Uh, going back with the, the structures, Richo, you asked. Kerno ground level, Martin, the goal kicker involved again. Play on. Still hunting at Martin. The ball bobbling around, it ends up getting out to Dow. Good result. Paddy Dow. Gee, that was like it was coming out of us. So there you go, Carlton soaked up all of those inside 50s down the other end. Giants waste a few chances, they go in, third entry, second goal in front. So you just got to make the most of your dominance and ground position. The Giants didn't. The Blues go in and score. First goal for him in his three matches so far this year. And that was just a tackle, yeah. 650 games back. between them. Yeah, Long ball. Martin at the back. Walsh at the front. This is a good start for the Blues. As you see, the uh, the free kick and the long kick, that's all the Carlton forwards have to do, as we spoke about the other end, but that's Walsh and his composure. Number one draft pick has continued on his his great form so far. He's, he's stepped up in, in the I guess, the absence of, of Cripps with getting tagged so heavily, but you look at that, you, they've gone inside 55 times for three goals compared to uh, the Giants' 12. And kick. Bouncer can go again if he wants. Straightens, loping long, lefty, high ball on the head of McCoy. Strong contested mark, and the Blues looking good here at the moment. It's just a kick to the perfect spot. As you see, lets the Fords do all the work, takes his time, and then sits it up. He's not trying to stab it. He's just putting it to the favour, and you'd want there for uh, a big fist coming from Perryman, you'd hope, rather than trying to take that mark. As a defender, you'd want him coming across on that help side and putting a big fist into it. McCoy. Boy, just got it through. The Blues have kicked their fourth. Yeah, Choco's able to take on a job in a very personable sense and, and get to know the play better and get more out of him and get him to realise he's potentially so good at that. Well, I think any player becomes a better player if they think the coach believes in them. And I think that's what Mark Williams did with Riccardi. But down the other end, they've got some big issues because... It's a weird old night. <laughs> Cottrell, high inside 50. Big defensive fist. It comes to the back. Murphy's going to be gifted a goal. Mark Murphy gets the Blues fifth. And then Cottrell just bangs it in. And look at the numbers there. Nothing a coach hates more than a ball getting over the back like that, particularly with the amount of numbers that they had back. And in a tight game where there's not many goals left in this game, the way it's been played, 